Oh hi, welcome to my first attempt at Niche, a genetics survival game. Okay, so uh, we have Eve here and we have Adam here. Adam's missing a paw, that's interesting. So yeah, it's a genetics survival game, so you can look at the genetics of each of your animals. And um, yeah, so the reason he's missing a paw is he has this uh, gene that says no paw. He also has a runner leg. But I guess you could have two no paws and you'd have no paws at all. Uh, as for Eve here, normal blood clotting. Uh, Adam also has hemophilia. So these are things you could try to, I guess, breed out over time. I'm not really sure. I don't have a lot of experience in this game. I think you can draw genes here that you want to encourage, like, I don't know, fluffy tails or... Soft velvety paws that help you stealth and collect. I'm not positive on that, but basically, these are berries or food in general, and we need to collect a lot of berries because I guess you use food every time you do anything, and if you run out of food and you then do something, it hurts you. It shows up red right here. So, um, that's what little I do know about the game. Um, so we're going to have those two mates so we can get some offspring rolling and I'm, then I'm going to have Adam come up here and explore a little, see what's what, and um, I think I'm just going to skip ahead to the next day because I want Eve in this nest because if she's in this nest overnight, she will have a baby! Oh, and look at the cute little baby. Its name is Sissy. It's a girl. And... Um, it does have, I guess, a recessive gene for its father's hemophilia, and um, it looks like it has the no paw thing going on too. So, poor thing, <laughs> but it is what it is. So let's just focus on collecting food right now, um, and uh, exploring, I guess. Because hopefully, if you explore enough, um, you can find more berry bushes. And the more berry bushes, the more actions you can do in a day. So that's good. Let's go ahead and make that magic happen again. Because more babies is more fun, right? And I think Sissy's too young to move. So we'll just clear a little grass and get on with it. Okay, now this little guy can move on his own. I can have her um, collect and have her grab some grass and then ultimately just move back into the nest for overnight have him come over here and explore a little collect some grasses um, if you collect enough you can get a bunch of branches and then you can make a nest basically wherever you want which is pretty nice oh look how cute that little baby is they're almost twins this is Duck Nunu, it's a boy uh, with normal blood clotting, yay! And um, still got that no paw thing going on. It does have velvet paw, so I was able to, I guess, encourage that mutation to happen. So awesome, that's fantastic. Uh, I will have um, Eve come up here and breed again so that um, we can have even more babies going because once this white bar comes all the way around, um, they die. <laughs> they get old and die. So this is basically their age meter. And if they get hurt, it kind of encroaches in red. So if the red and the white touch, they also die. So um, that's unfortunate, right? Go ahead and have her just build a nest under here. I will have you come back over here, I think, because you need to collect some berries. And this... Baby sissy over here will come over here and look around and skip ahead. Oh my god, is this the cutest baby yet? This is Cory, and it has antlers, which give it an extra strength. That's fantastic. Um, it still has the no paw going on, and it does have some recessive hemophilia, but we're not going to worry about it. We're just going to try to breed these things out over time. These things take time. It's cool. It's totally fine. Yay! We found another berry bush. So on our next turn, we should be able to collect some more berries. That is good. Berries go quick around here. And 
Uh, as you might see as we go on, we might bump into people and you can bribe them to join you with berries. So we want to be able to do that so we can kind of diversify the gene pool a little bit. That would definitely behoove us. So let's have this guy kind of come around here, see if maybe there's some more berries down here. And there are! We're getting so lucky! Oh no! The baby's sick! We can tell because he had a little red splatter on him and uh, he's a cold. Um, I wonder if he has... Okay, so he has two immunity Fs, and having the same symbol twice increases chance to get sick. Like, let's look at, um, this one, for example. He has B and F. So, this poor baby got doubled up on Fs, and that F'd him. <laughs> so he's probably gonna get sick a lot. Um, as you can see, he's taking a little damage from being sick, so that's kind of sad, but... Mother Nature is cruel, I guess. We probably should not have had these two mate. I additionally worry um, that it might be a hemophiliac. Nope, it actually has normal blood clotting, which is surprising because this one had a recessive for hemophilia, and this one does have hemophilia, so we got really lucky on that. The immunity did not go our way, though. <laughs> but win some, lose some. Now, we also have this new baby. This is... Cuckoo, <laughs> Cuckoo has normal blood clotting, a velvet paw, um, and a no paw. I think it turns out that if they have a no paw, and I'm starting to get a lot of babies with no paws, um, they aren't that good at gathering. So I think what I might do is come over here and get rid of this fluffy tail thing and try to exchange it for some other kind of paw. Like maybe, um... A runner leg? That might be good. I think I don't know for sure, but I, I'm hopeful that that will kind of help us keep this no paw thing in check before it gets out of control. Look what happened! This guy showed up. This is Duck Roddick. I uh, just kind of randomly showed up. Um, I can I think interact with him, so I could offer him five food, or sorry, her five food to join my tribe, or I could just attack the stranger. I would really like to have more genetic diversity, so I will go ahead and send the invite even though we are a little light on food. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's check this guy out. We got a uh, runner leg, no paw, oh, another no paw, are you kidding me? And a hemophiliac! <sighs> Guys. But at least, at least it's striped. I don't think we have any striped guys yet, so that's kind of cool. Wow, look at this little baby we got. Oh my god, Nuraduck. It has violet eyes. Oh my goodness, and like a black on black striped coat and little red antlers. Oh my god, I could just die. And best of all, it has both of its feet and no hemophilia. This is by far our best baby yet. Oh, we're getting it. We're getting it, guys. We're getting somewhere. Now, as you can see, we're down to only six foods, so we're going to start hurting ourselves if we don't focus up on the food this round, though. we got a lot of mouths to feed. It might behoove us to just um, primarily gather and worry about other things later. Could try to see if we can uncover another bush somewhere, but it's a risk. It's a big risk. All right, on to the next day. Uh-oh, this little guy's sick again. I feel so bad for him. I have not done good for him on his immunity. Oh, we have a new baby, but it has <laughs> some of the same problems. It has two immunity bees. I gotta watch what I'm doing. Um, But it, it has fluffy tail and a stinky tail. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a hemophiliac. Oh my goodness, I've done a terrible thing. And a no paw. This is by far my worst creation to date. And then we got this little new guy, Nuvon. Uh, normal blood clotting, good immunity diversity. Um, velvet paw and runner leg. That's nice. Uh, yeah, this guy might be okay, actually. Oh, oh wait. Oh gosh, he's blind. I didn't even realize. Oh my goodness. Completely blind. What have I done? Is this guy blind too? Is that what the white eyes means? Oh, it is. Wait, is Eve blind? No, but she does have a recessive gene for it, so I think that's where all that's coming from. Oops. What I might do is come over here and get rid of one of these and try to 
put a mutation in for normal eyes so that maybe this blindness won't spread too far. Oh my goodness, what have I done? All right, there's a newcomer here, so let's just uh, offer them five to join. Oh, oh, this is our first encounter with this. This is a carnivore, and it will hurt us, so we need to try to hurt it first. But first, look at this guy's genetics. A little bit of short-sightedness in the bloodline, a little bit of hemophilia. But uh, nothing too crazy, right? So it has five strength. That seems like high, because most of them do not. So I could have this one come try to fight the carnivore. Uh, that may have been a bad move, right? Oh gosh. Am I making a lot of mistakes? Okay, let's just roll over to the next day. Ah, oh, he attacked this poor guy. All oh, these guys are sick. Oh my god. Guys, I am terrible at this. <laughs> I am just terrible. I am making so many mistakes. Oh, gosh. I'm worried I won't be able to kill the carn- Oh, we killed the carnivore! Yay! So, yeah, what happens is he drops all this delicious food that we desperately need that helped us get back on our feet. I guess that was the silver lining of being attacked by a carnivore. But yeah, I think you guys kind of get the gist of this game. So um, definitely leave a like and a comment letting me know if you want to see more. Uh, again, it's Niche, a genetic survival game. It's still in early access, so it, it could still get more features or more bug fixes. I didn't encounter any bugs, which was kind of cool. I've just been gathering away and doing a bunch of good stuff. I think they were projecting like a full release of this game, so out of early access uh, at some point in 2017, quarter two or three, I think. Uh, but in the meantime, it is definitely available on Steam as we speak for a price of $18.99. So yeah, let me know if you want to see more. I'll see you then.